welcome back to the combo cabal i am your host brian cook and today we are playing some pioneer lotus combo about a week and a half ago i uploaded a video on the lotus combo pioneer challenger deck that you can find in the card above and people loved it the most successful pioneer video i've uploaded so far and a number of you have asked for more video content of the wish build that i shared this is it. And I was so excited about the results of that Pioneer video, I immediately played a league with this build afterward. And what I found in that league was I loved the main deck. The main deck was so good. I went 4-1. Uh, my only loss was playing for 5-0 versus Mono Red. And I actually beat Mono Red in round 1 of that event. But throughout the entire time, I found that I wasn't really liking Fry. So I cut the two copies of Fry from the video list that I uploaded previously. And instead I am running a third mystical dispute and a third anger of the gods. That's what we're trying here today. Uh, I've actually also uploaded a video with almost the same identical deck about a month ago. You can also find that in the card above. And yeah, so if you can't get enough of the wish Lotus combo deck, um, here's some more of it. So I hope you enjoy it. If you're unfamiliar with this deck, we're looking to Untap Lotus Field a whole bunch using Vizier of the Tumbling Sands and Hidden Strings along with Pour of the Pages to create mana. And to make it easier on us, we run Brawl, Chief of Compliance, to reduce some of the cost and create additional mana. Eventually, we cast Wish or Granted on the Fey of Wishes or Aetherflux Reservoir, cast a spell, gain a bunch of life, and then shoot our opponent for 50. That's how we win. Um, yeah. And if you're looking for a more in-depth deck tech, I would definitely check out that uh, Pioneer Challenger deck video because I give a pretty good description of how this deck works, you know, that sort of thing. So definitely check that out if you're confused with how this deck actually functions. But for now, I just want to get playing Magic today. So I'm going to shill for a second and then we can get going. If you're interested, we offer donation decks here at the Epic Storm. You can see your deck here on this very channel. You go to theepicstorm.com slash donation deck, select your tier attach your deck list, and then upload. It's that simple. We also have the epicsroom.com slash shop where we have a ton of sweet card singles. Definitely go there. It's an easy way of supporting us. But on top of card singles, we have, you know, Storm swag, pine glasses, t-shirts, pens, token packs, stickers, just tons and tons of stuff. We also have the mini token pack. This is brand new. We've sold 70 of these already, so they're flying off the shelves. So if you're interested in that return to paper play, keeping track of your storm and mana there's nothing better than our mini token pack you get 64 double-sided tokens for 13 dollars. it's 128 tokens it's great value and you know you get 10 black 10 blue 10 red 5 green 5 white 3 colorless 20 storm a galvanic relay token 4 treasure tokens 10 monks and slime time 8 progenitor ooze we've got you covered our toughness already built in yada 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 squirrels versus goblins empty the worms versus chatterstorm two cards that aren't legal in pioneer so i'm going to skim through this but it's an easy way of keeping track of your mana i'd highly recommend it even for pioneer if you're interested in grabbing one i'd appreciate your support and if you're looking to support us in any other way you can like and subscribe those are both free and easy things to do help support me get into that youtube algorithm you know it also makes sure that you don't miss my next pioneer video so definitely do that. And if you're looking to, uh, to go to that next level, check out our members, our memberships, I should say. I'm stumbling a lot in this intro, uh, but that button's right next to the subscribe button. Just click that, and then you can see our information for our lovely tiers. We have three of them, all with great perks. And yeah, that's my intro today. I'm going to keep it short and sweet. I just want to start, you know, untapping Lotus Field. I'm sure that's what you're here to watch anyway, not me, Shill. So let's head over to round number one, and I'll see you there. This is Pioneer, so you know that our opponent started off the match by revealing Luris. We've opened up a solid hand here. I'm going to keep this, and uh, let's see what we can do. Luris could mean a variety of things. I wouldn't get too caught up in, you know, what it could be, but it looks like Burn. This is admittedly a little bit of a slow hand for the Burn matchup, so we're going to need some help. Razor. Lotus Field's a good one. Okay, I'll take that. Uh, probably best to start on the track. Yeah, okay. 
just wanted to think about it. And the reason I decided not to play Balagad there is if we're mid combo, that Balagad has more value. And if I just draw an additional land uh, over the next few turns, it really punishes me for playing it out. So I think it's better to just play the triumph. They're going to get in there for two. We're going to go to 16, and then it's our turn. I wouldn't mind a blocker here. All right, so I guess we can just play that. Let's go get Thespian Stage. We need to hope to not die. We need to hope that our opponent's hand is just like a bunch of lands and like maybe uh, creatures that don't have haste. I don't know. Like we're at 16, the two power triggers or two power creatures scare me. Boros Charm, okay. So that's going to put us to 8. We're almost dead. Maybe I'm supposed to play out Vizier as a blocker. <clears throat> we could just be dead here. There's the Lava Runner. Got another Lava Runner. Two cards in the opponent's hand. Lock one, go to four. Need to get lucky here. Ah, uh, we needed hidden strings. Um, I'm not sure what to do. I think we're just dead. We can get up to four mana, but that's not enough to wish into anger. I know, I can't count. We do have Wish and Anger. I guess we need our opponent's hand to not do anything, but yeah, we do have Wish and Anger. Um, would have loved a Hidden Strings at some point. And I can't. Just want to make sure. Okay. So we're at four. We would need to be incredibly lucky to win this game because... We would need our opponent to not have anything. So, like, them putting Lurus to their hand, for example, would be our out of one. And this Gitu Lava Runner represents lethal on its own, even assuming that the last card in their hand doesn't do anything. And it did. Okay, so we did not win game number one over red. We were on the draw. Maybe if we were on the play, we would have stood a better shot. It's fine. But we get to board in these angers now. And what to take out is a pretty good question. I think we could probably skim on strategic plannings. We want to leave one anger on the board, I believe. All right. It could also just be like one dig. Maybe keep one planning. Oh, okay, it's not going to let me. On the play for game number two. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, we're going to ship this. I don't think that this hand is a keep, unfortunately. It just, like, it doesn't have either half of the combo. Having a razor is nice, but, like, what are we going to do? Uh, so we have Lotus via Wish here. A little bit slow, but it's enough. Okay, so we're looking to draw a land on turn two so that we can put it into playoff grazer. And then that would be turn three wish for Lotus Field. We're probably not winning this if we're being realistic, but let's play door out, so let's just try to play tight. There's Swiss Spear. Okay. Looking for a land off the top here. That hurts. Okay, we just have to pass. I could play Grazer, but, like, I don't really see the point. Like, it's just going to die to a burn spell, so maybe that's better. I'm not sure. Another Swifty. Okay. Got it. Okay, so I guess we'll play this now. 
Probably should have played Oath. Next turn we can play Wish for Lotus Field, sacrificing these two if we want. Or I can blow the Blast Zone to get all of those. Okay. So this actually stops us from winning with the Aetherflux Reservoir. <laughs> but we can answer it. It's not a huge deal. Block. Land here would be amazing. Blow up this Blast Zone. Okay. Draw. Ding. So we're going to want to blow up the Blast Zone now because they can't uh, Boros Charm to keep it around. There are other creatures around. Our Grazer will die, but it did its job. Next turn, we're, once again, we're looking to wish for Lotus Field. We're not home free yet. Our opponent still has four cards in hand. They have this Vortex. So we're going to have to play tight in order to win. Another Vortex? Okay. That's pretty good. Uh, we have not drawn Hidden Strings like at all. So in order to win this, we're going to have to draw Hidden Strings this turn. I could actually uh, start off by playing Poor. That's an out. But it would just be a lot easier if I drew Hidden Strings. Assuming that we even get another. The attack. Okay, I like that. Interesting. Dig through. I think we're supposed to just cast four here. I don't know if this matters. A little bit awkward. So, like, I am enticed to play the Brawl here. I guess I could Brawl plus Dig. That's probably the best line. Of Wish. Dig. Busier. Four. Now we have to pray to live for another turn. Yeah, I mean, we saw a lot of cards uh, this game and last game, actually, and just, like, never really found any of the untap effects. So sometimes that's going to happen, too. Not the end of the world. And, yeah, we're in trouble. So the way that this works is next turn our opponent, as long as they keep a mana open, we can't gain life and we win the game through Reservoir. So a little bit awkward, but didn't matter. Opponent had it the entire time. I still think Reservoir is better than uh, Approach, but they just happen to have Vortex. It is what it is. Zero and one, let's just play tight and get the rest. All right, round two versus Hollow Point. And this is a pretty good hand. We're definitely going to keep this. Okay. I don't know if it's start on, I guess it's free to start on Catrium. But we're likely playing one of these Balagets next turn. Unless we hit an untapped source, which allows us to play Brawl. Then it's the reason to play Catria Triome first. The pathway. Yeah, I'd love to play my Brawl. Thank you. B-Roll. Okay, and our opponent's likely playing the Phoenix deck. Thing in the ice. Okay. We drew strings. That's good. Um, but now we are in a spot where we really want to assemble our land combo. So we can play field from hand, or we can play wish in the field. I'm not sure which I actually like more. I think we're probably supposed to just take wish in the field. Because this guarantees eventually that we'll have double Lotus. 
I also like getting an extra card to our graveyard for dig through time, which is part of the reason that I uh, considered it. Iteration. So I was thinking a little bit after last round, and if you're someone that is bothered by Aetherflux Reservoir uh, being shut off by that enchantment, something you could do is you could actually play a Niv Mizzet in the board and use Niv Mizzet as a win condition. Uh, and I, I think that's actually pretty reasonable. So if that's something you're interested in, you could run a Niv Mizzet maybe over the third Mystical Dispute, yeah, because they're both like bombs in the same matchup. So it's a win con that gets around it. Uh, it's also insane against the blue decks as a wish target. So I don't hate having an if miss it as the main. Um, I think I'm just going to play Balagad here. Pass the turn. I would expect like an opt or something here to trigger the thing in the end. Okay, so Thing in the Ice is likely going to flip on our opponent's turn. Okay. Iteration is a charm of. <clears throat> I suppose you could also run uh, Niv Mizza over the Alpine Moon slot, but I happen to like the Alpine Moon in the Wish builds because it allows you to win the Mirrors. Really. And it doesn't matter what they're targeting with this Lightning Axe because uh, the triggered ability resolves. But they do get to bring back two Phoenix, so they're swinging for a bunch of damage here, telling me that I need to win on this turn where I don't have uh, both halves of the combo in play. So we're in a little bit of trouble. So they're swinging for 13, putting me to 7. So even if I could anger away these Phoenixes, they have lethal next. Uh, all right, so if I still had Brawl and play, this would be an easy win. Um, what to do here? So I think we need to start on Brawl. And then what's Hidden Strings? This is going to seem weird. But I think it's the best choice here. We're going to cast Poor and hopefully we draw Grazer. Because actually Grazer wouldn't work. Um, I'm still just going to play. Because if I hit like Land Grazer that could have worked. That was a little bit awkward. Um, so we have 6 mana now. I can use one of it going down to 5 to play Sylvan Scrying. Copy down to three. So actually, I think that this would allow me to... Okay, I think we got it from here. Uh, okay, so we're going to... I think I'm doing this correctly. As long as I'm not... I know we're one short. I'm a mana short. Um, I think there's still a way we can do this, though. Because we have the double Balagad. So let's get back Hidden Strings. It's going to take a lot for me to win this game, but I think this is probably the best line. Does this work? Now if I were to copy this. Okay, yep. All right, so now we barely get back the Hidden Strings. Then we need a miracle dig through. We're in a position where we can win, though. Wow, that was cool. Uh, now we just need dig to not stink. One, two. Let's keep the wish around. Let's get rid of the brawl. We don't need Sylvan Scrying or two Balagad. All right, so four mana. So Pier would be a card we want here. Uh, wish doesn't do anything meaningful. I think we're actually supposed to take double playing. All right, strategic planning, it's your time to shine. Planning number one. Another dig, okay. 
So if we're we're gonna cast this dig, but we have to hit another hidden strings plus an action spell. We can remove the other dig because we're putting one to the graveyard. We can remove that. Now you have to remove one more card. I think it's probably the Balagad. Okay. We did not hit a hidden string. Ah, oh, that's unfortunate. Okay. All that. All right. Let's go to game two. We definitely want Mystical this view. I don't like boarding in Anger because it only hits Phoenix. So you saw Thing in the Ice, but they also have Crackling Drake. So I just don't think that's really where you want to be. And Dispute hits Narset, which is a card they're looking to board in again. I think it's actually reasonable here to board out two copies of Grazer because the matchup isn't really focused around like blocking their creatures. But then you can probably shave on a strategic planning or a wish. Uh, but I'm going to shave on a plan. Okay, game number two, and we we're on the play. If this hand had a second land, this would but unfortunately we need to keep it. Same thing, we can't keep this. Sure. We have to get rid of dig through time. The Fey. I mean, if we draw Lotus at some point, this hand is like kind of reasonable. I mean, we would have to draw a Lotus plus action spell, but, you know, anything's possible. We have disputes to slow down the game a little bit. There we go. I'm not going to counter whatever this is. Like, I have F6, but this is just an op. There's no reason for it. All right. And I would counter a thing in the ice here, but... It's important that next turn we're going to play stage, and I, I'm not really interested in um, like playing field next turn because I need to be able to counter Nars. That's a big issue. <laughs> the third dispute. That's funny. Uh, yeah. And on our opponent's end step, assuming that they don't do anything, we're going to copy Ketria Triome. And what this does is it allows us to play field next turn while holding open dispute. might seem weird though that we don't copy um, if we don't counter stage i don't know maybe i'm supposed to just build now we need some action the blast zone was some nice reassurance here because if our opponent does just slam narset we have blast zone answer it on the following turn They're just going to pass, which is... Okay, I'm choosing to play out stage here because this is going to bring us up to 9 mana in case we draw an action spell next turn, which is going to fight through their Mystic Disputes, but also we can cast our... And I don't need to telegraph that I have Blast on either. We're going to get... Get out of here. Go home, Narset. Like a negate? What are you doing? Yeah, I will pay. Are you going to dispute me again? I will pay for that too. All right. An action spell here would be beautiful. Dang. Right, I'm going to hold the Blast Zone because I might need to discard it depending on what we draw. Okay, uh, we don't need another stake, so I'll get rid of that. And let's cast another pour. We're definitely keeping the Bal again because that represents another pour. Get rid of Grazer. And let's cycle this Vizier so that way we can see what we're drawing first. How much mana? And I think I want to dig here. Because, like, while well, casting Balagat is nice, if I can find a, um, a Brawl to make all of that a lot cheaper, it's just ideal. 
hidden string. I wonder if we win if we go hidden strings, wish poor or pure, I mean. Um we have 10 mana right now. Hidden strings would bring us up to 14. Wish would bring us down to 11. We have four, four floating mana plus a dispute. Yeah, I think that is one. This game is going pretty well for our mulligan to five. I'll say that. Okay. Wish. Don't want to touch the black mana. We need that. All right. This is eight, so we're going to cast Pier targeting us. Going to draw 20 cards. You can't mystic do that. What are you doing? Right. But you can mystical dispute this and then I'll come here, so have fun. Gotcha. Had three the whole time. Untap, untap. Nope. Is there a brawl somewhere in here? Why does my friend brawl hate me? I just want to, you know, be with them casting spells. Let's pour, see if we can find brawl. No brawl yet. Um, we can dig. Lotus Field Dispute, Dig, or Dispute, seems reasonable. I guess we need to do one more. You don't need two pours in there. There's a Brawl. Okay. Brawl. Strings. Tap on tap. Let's cast another string. Tap on tap. Now we can play Wish. Go get Aetherflux Reservoir. And planning. Need some life. There's all the uh, brawls. Cycle. Another dig. Let's cast pour. I love the draw cards. Start a land. Strategic planning, and that's going to put us over. And before that resolves, let's just shoot our opponent. No need to waste time. All right, we've gotten game number two. And I'm going to leave it as it. It's worth noting that we do have Hour of Devastation as well to answer Narset. We do have a Wishable out. It's just not Fry. Uh, Hour of Devastation does a lot for the deck. It also beats Spirits. It's just a really great card. But I could see the Niv Mizzet in the board over the third dispute or the Alpine Moon. We're gonna keep this hand. This okay. I don't know if I want to jam the Brawl on turn two. It really depends. Try again. That's a fast claw. Okay, well that makes jamming brawl a lot better. So what we want to draw is a hidden strings. Because right now we could have a turn four if we draw a hidden string. Even if they kill this brawl, we have a turn four. So let's just draw the untap effect and then go to party town. What is it? They're dragon. Okay. They are definitely going aggro. 
So we're going to fall to 15 here. Yeah, it looks like we're not going to be alive much longer, so we definitely want to find him. Did not need a land, that's for sure. Um, huh. Well, for some reason, they don't kill Baral this turn, and we draw strings. But I don't think that's great. We're taking six. Yeah. We also have to worry about Mystical Dispute here. I don't think so. We're going to follow the nine line. They missed a land drop. Yeah, we just uh, we just have to play stage pass. And we are dead to um, East Spread Dragons. Charger. So they can become four fours, but if they become five fives, I'm just dead. So we know that they have thing in the ice, but even if they counter their own opt here, I'm dead. They put one card on the bottom with opt. Okay. So theoretically, I go to one here, assuming they don't do anything else. Okay. Interesting. Wasn't expecting to live through this turn. I will copy Lotus Field. Draw. Perfect draw. Wow. Let's do it. Green, blue. We can barely get this back if we need to. Um, so we can put that on Brawl, blue, blue, just poor. That could have been better. Let's get back poor. This is net neutral on mana, so it's not a big deal. Interesting. They chose to negate. Okay. So we are at one. So peer into the abyss is shut off. We cannot peer, which is our cyborg card advantage engine. So we do have planning in there, but we don't really want to do planning. So instead, we're going to cast dig here. Do I want to wish first? Because if I cast wish first, I can keep. Um, The poor in the graveyard. Okay. Wow, double poor is insane. So now it's at three blue. Four. I Man, it's not really a concern because we still have this brawl. So hypothetically, I could cast. Aetherflux Reservoir here, but if I Reservoir before I pour, um, I, I could get disputed on the pour. And I don't want that to happen. I'm going to play pour first. Wow, so we fizzled a little bit, but we can still play Reservoir into a bunch of spells. Okay, so now it's Sylvan Scrying. And we might just have it here as well. Let's catch your triome. Yep, and our opponent can see. Wow. All right. Love it. 1-1. One, one. Was not expecting to win this. I really wasn't. But uh, I'll take it. I'll see you in match number three. Okay, the third round. We're on the play. This hand's fantastic. We're going to keep this. So the Sylvan Scrying here represents the fourth land for our land combo. While we have both pieces already, this land can get, or the Scrying can get 
something else. Most likely, probably a second copy of Thespian Stage. Um, because we're going to have to sacrifice the first stage to the Lotus, most likely. So, just it's important to think about that stuff uh, in advance. Unless we draw a land. So we're likely facing the Citadel deck. And we rip the land, so we don't need to do that anymore. Maybe we just get a cycling land now. Okay. I suppose I could have also gotten Blast Zone, but I don't know. They would have to really overextend on one drops for that to be relevant. And our hand is lacking an action spell, so I think just like a cycler is probably slightly better. There's the innkeeper. So right now our opponent has four mana going into next turn. The magic number for them is six. Okay. Draw. Dig is a good draw. Yeah, I do like that. So we could potentially try to win next turn. Once again, we'd have to get pretty lucky, but it's an option. We do have a draw and then a Vizier Cycle draw before we have to catch the dig. They have five mana here. Collected company. Okay. There's the devil. All right, they only have one creature. They still. Uh, have five. They they have two cards. They could go land Citadel next turn, and that would be pretty bad. Amazing draw there. So big fan of the Brawl hit. Uh, let's start off by cycling. I mean, maybe we're supposed to go for it here. Okay. So that could have been an action spell. So we can go up to four, copy this down to two. To make any sort of difference if I play Brawl first. I don't know. And then strings. Yes. Oh. Copy. And then strings again. And now we have six in Graveyard, and we can cast this Dig, leaving one Strings behind in case we need to battle get it. Dig. Okay, so we're, we don't have enough mana to hear yet, so we're going to take Strategic Planning and Wish. We do have this back door of Casting Anger, by the way, that is on the table. Planning. Gladly take a pour. Another pour was very good. Maybe you want to raise her. And I'm going to try to convert a red here. And two red. I think we're doing it. Probably don't need this state. So now if I was to cast a wish. We have nine mana, so we would go down to seven to play Wish, Peer. So we'd have to hit exactly a Hidden Strings in the top half of our deck, or I can cast Dig Through Time. Because there's two strings left. If they were both on the bottom half of our deck, we could lose. Hmm. Sort of a tough call here. Alternatively, I could cast a dig into Reservoir. But I don't think we're quite there yet. Or, I'm sorry, Wish into Reservoir. If I had one more mana, I'd feel a little bit better about Wish Pure Line. Because then, like, you could cycle Vizier. But I think I'm going to cast Dig. Okay. Let's take the Balagat. Because we can use that like a pseudo cabal ritual. Cast four. 
Not a clickable. All right, uh, let's get rid of a scrying. We don't need all those. And now, so we're going to get back hidden strings here. And it's going to cost three mana, but it's going to make six. So it's just worth it. That's why I like calling it Cabal Ritual. We cast a wish. Play Peer, target us. Ding. And it looks like, well, actually, what you draw here is actually towards the bottom. So we probably would have hit it, but it doesn't hurt to just take the slightly safer line, in my opinion. All the cards that are all the way over here would have been the top of your deck, by the way. I think we're in a spot where we can probably just play Wish into Reservoir. Right. Um, that's three mana. I'm going to cycle Vizier. Draw. Our opponent's seen enough. Okay. This is a matchup that I like boarding into anger. And just having the option to leave one and board in two is the reason I like having three anger and that I didn't like having fry. So if you want something like fry, it's fine. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. But big fan of anger. Um, I don't know. Like in order to run fry, I think you have to cut the alpine moon. You could also like not play hour, I guess, and just run fries instead. That's also an option. But then like you don't really have a good card for spirits. And I think the right pick here is to board out strategic pool. Yeah, let's do that. Good hand. Our opponent is taking a mulligan. Do you have a turn one creature? They do. They paid the life. Okay. So I think here we're probably going to lead on the Balagad. So it would be nice if we drew Vizier, by the way. Because if we drew Vizier, we could surprise get them with the Anger of the Gods. The Golden Goose. Yep. I mean, I could burn a Hidden Strings, but it, honestly, Vizier is just like the card we want. Because Hidden Strings is so crucial. Okay. We have the Blood Crypt. No Shock on the Crypt. Another Brawl. Um, I think I'm going to play Brawl here. Oops. We have two of them, so I don't mind if one of them gets angered away. And that means that next turn I can double spell. I can Sylvan Scrying into Hidden Strings or Plant. So the opponent has five mana now. Ooh. Thought Seize was a good one. Not shocked by that pick. Not at all. Sylvan Scrying to the Graveyard because it stops us from getting Lotus. So I got punished by playing Burral there. I just thought if they had the uh blood or had the thought seeds, they would have played it on the previous turn, but it's not the end of the world. We can potentially hit one with uh planning this turn. Uh yeah, I'm gonna start off on planning. And if we miss, I can bail get back the scrying. So we take the dig. It's a little bit slow. So I guess we get back to scrying. If our opponent's last card is Citadel, we're in trouble. All right, so they can play Citadel this turn. They have six mana. Here it is. Oh, it's not. Okay. Um, Brawl plus Dig. The reason I'm picking Dig is that they're exiling our graveyard, so that dig through time is mostly going to be uncastable. 
I wonder if I should have potentially discarded the anger. I don't know. Hmm. I'm not going to. If they had Citadel, they would have played it last turn. So I'm just blanking them drawing another. And at least this way, I see on the chance of potentially winning based on my draws. Okay, so they still have one card in hand. Okay. Do I want to cycle or do I just want to play big? So three, eight. If I can cast dig, I think I'm supposed to just play Ketria pass and then dig on their end step. Go blank is a really cool card. Like, not that I love getting my graveyard exiled, but it's pretty sweet. Looks like they're passing again. You know what? I'm not going to block. I feel like there's some, like, some sort of like morbid trick here or something, and I'm not going to buy into it. So they have three uh, things to sacrifice. So they can kill my brawl if they want, between the food tokens and the treasure. And now, if they kill my brawl, this anger of the gods uh, is definitely going to be cast. <laughs> Go through time. Digging. So no access to um what is it called? Thespian Sage, but I can take Wish into the second copy of Field. I do like that. And I mean it's it could also grab a payoff spell. Maybe I take the other hidden strings here. Not sure. I could also just maybe put Ugin into play. Good. Okay, so I'm gonna put a blue here. Play Lotus Field. Having just act more access to Lotus Field is really good for this deck. And they've decided now is the time to kill Brawl. They should just wait because they would have gotten two free triggers off my Lotus Field, but uh, that's fine. Sanctum and Triome, so now they get two more. And I'm going to attempt to uh, win the game right now, but if I don't, I do have this Anger's backup. Okay, blue, blue, let's cast this poor. Hmm, that could have been better. Uh, we'll get rid of Grazer. And do I want to get back big or do I want to get back a four? I think probably poor. Big, or poor again. Get rid of the Grazer. Um... So right now we have six mana, ten mana, bay into something that costs six. Instead, I'm just going to uh, anger here and then cycle charge. So the reason that I'm willing to pass here is that we have the fey, we have the here in our board. I just need a thespian stage lotus field next turn. And our opponent has a single card in hand. They can't place it at all. It's the card I'm afraid of most. So it seems sort of free to do here. Am Devil's a reasonable draw. Okay. So we get to copy field here and play Fey for Peer. Because the benefit of Fey is that you don't have to cast the card the same turn like you do with Wish. So we're just going to get Peer and... Uh, do the game ending thing on our next turn. Apply this Fey in the middle here. They can't even cast it at all. Well, they can now. So 
but uh, they needed a third block. So next turn, hypothetically, they could draw Citadel and try to win. Blue, blue. Just wanted some extra floating mana. Okay. No! Oh no! I accidentally skipped through my main phase. I didn't mean to do that. Whoops. Who needs hidden strings anyway, I suppose? Jeez, Bryant, come on. Get your crap together. Learn how to cast spells already. Okay. Fortunately, I don't think it's going to matter, but yikes. Okay, cycle some viziers. And one of the nice things about this list is you have five um, access points to peer, and they're all like, re like, wish is very affordable, especially when you have brawl in play. So it just makes the peer lines much easier. I'm a big fan of this wish build. I don't know if it's better than the Emergent Ultimatum builds, and I get asked that frequently, uh, because the Emergent builds are just so easy to play, and this one's obviously a little bit tougher. But this one, I think you're rewarded more for your play. So I'm not sure, but if I had to play this uh, deck in a big event, I'd probably play the Wish one over the Emergent build. So it's six mana to... Wish into Reservoir, and I have 11 mana that I could cast a Peer. So, okay, let's do that. Let's just start ending the game. Okay, blue. Reservoir. And four. Winning with the Reservoir is also just, like, really sweet. So I'm, I like that. Red Lotus. Uh, let's cast another pour. Why not? I like drawing cards. We do have to be wary. There's only, uh, after this resolves, there will be four cards left in our library. Let's not deck ourselves. We're at 23 now. I guess we can bail get recovery back by hidden strings and make some mana. I like making mana. Strings. Um, let's look at what our last four cards are. Okay, now shoot our opponent for lethal. Boom! Just like that, we're two and one. Two more rounds to go. Wish Lotus Combo. Okay, welcome to match number four. We are on the play. And this hand is delightful. We're going to keep this. Turn one, catch your triumph. Turn two, sanctum, scrying. What's not to love here? Maybe play brawl on turn two. Who knows? But we'll see what's up based on what our opponent's playing. All right, probably not playing brawl. Don't really want our friend to eat a removal spell. Uh, well, I was also afraid of a discard spell, but then we went ahead and drew both of those. Hmm. All right, I'm going to play Brawl. Because if Brawl lives, we get to double spell next turn, and that's just worthwhile. Immutable, heartless. So they didn't really get to advance their plan that much. Mutable's still decent. Third Sylvan Scrying, okay. Uh, a little bit awkward because now a discard spell hitting Dig really hurts us. And this is definitely a matchup where I would consider boarding and unburied. Uh, these style of decks, the aggro decks, usually have Sphere in them. I'm just like afraid of Sphere, so I'd be looking to side in Anger of the Gods as well as a Braid. They're just getting in there for three. Look at that. No! Goodbye, Dig. 
So now we're putting a spot where we need to draw another action spell. Yep, big gone. We're gonna copy this turn. Maybe we'll get lucky and draw something good, I don't know. We can convert these scryings into cycle lands. It's something that we can do. I mean, it's not great, but it's an option. All right. Once again, they're just going to get in for three here. Maybe play a creature post combat. Okay. I like planning. Let's cast it. Hmm. That wasn't great. So we're going to copy and then just go get a cycle land. At this point, uh, a wish or a fey off the top would give us peer, which would win the game. So I'm definitely looking for one of those five cards. I would take a dig or a pour as well. I'd take another planning despite that one hurting my feelings. Not a big deal. We're at 13. So they could play like a Rankle this turn and then Rankle swing out. So that would be seven damage at discard a card. Castle. Champion. So they're actually on Vampires. They're not on Mono Black Aggro. Okay, so that changes that a little bit. All right, this is the turn where we want to draw something good. When we'll have Lethal next turn. Planning. Okay. I guess I can. Doesn't really matter. Galaged for dig. That's certainly an option. It's kind of mana intensive, but it's what we've got. Galaged. That dig through time. Razor. Be good to me, dig. So I can take four uh, Brawl, and that would give us the most efficient mana. But I think we're supposed to take the two action spells and just bank on, like, hitting another Brawl at some point. I guess it's the other Brawl, because there's one in the graveyard already, and that one goes in the bottom. We also don't necessarily need to have Brawl in order to win for what it's worth. We can win without it. I guess I can figure it out. That was a very good pour. Wow. So we have eight mana. So I could wish into Reservoir Dig. That's not a winning this turn line, though, but we've played a bunch of spells. I think instead I'm just going to dig. Look to get a little bit further ahead. Move the Brawl, Vizier, Planning. That's good. Okay. Those both make mana. So that replaced the mana we lost. I like that. Just churning through our deck at this point. And tap. Draw. Sweet. All right. So now we can actually take the previous line I was talking about, but instead we can uh, peer into another um, and strings after that and keep it winning. So now we can actually play Reservoir. Tap. We have nine mana. Wish into Reservoir seven. Maybe I messed up that math previously. Maybe I was thinking that I already had um, Brawl in play. Because that just like doesn't work the way that I was thinking it did. Um, I think I'm just going to play. So this will bring me up to 10 mana. And this pour will be 11. So with 11 mana, the line works how I thought it did. This card. And we can just cycle this. Untap the Lotus Field that's currently tapped. Draw. Right. 
So now wish. Have this blue reservoir. Dig. Maybe I just need to learn how to count. I thought I was going to have less mana floating. Dig. Playing a little too quickly, if I'm being honest. So that's part of it. If I just like sat there and did the math, I'd probably realize where I went wrong. Double strings, sign me up. Strings. I love playing this deck, by the way. Like, I don't play this deck for the views, because I'll be honest, people don't watch Pioneer videos. I just love playing this deck. Uh, I feel like Pioneer is a really fun format, and I love playing Wish. So that's why I'm playing this. Uh, it was just a bonus that the last Pioneer video did well, because I sort of didn't expect it to, but I don't know. Like, just playing Lotus Field and untapping Lotus Field a bunch. Also, like, Pioneer is one of the last formats where free spells don't exist. And I don't know. Like, I really liked Modern pre-Force of Negation, because, like, you could craft these, like, plans that were, like, you pinched your opponent on mana and, like, really leveraged... Uh, the play and pioneer still has that but modern doesn't and i like modern but it's not the same as it used to be. Okay, so we want those bring in these i think we probably can ditch um i wonder if we could actually just like board out brawl here be like okay you're not going to get to remove my creature i think i might like that and then maybe board out like Maybe a planning. Let's try this. I like trying things. I can always wish for a brawl too. I mean, that's an option. Yup, sign me up. This is the kind of hand you take home to meet your parents. It's just fantastic. A real keeper. All right, uh, I wonder what they choose here. In my opinion, it's actually supposed to be Grazer, but we'll see if they agree. They do. Okay. So I like Grazer because it, like, it really speeds us up into you know this thing that we want to be doing. Yes, get out of here. Hell yeah. It also gets Lotus into play before I was rudely interrupted by that amazing draw. It's Lotus into play before Memorisai can remove it, and I'm a big fan of that. All right. The next turn we can stage copy field. Go blank. Um, I think it's just the digs. This might be a game where I just like try to put Ugin into play or I don't know, some other thing. Copy pass. Hmm. Block the mutable. Okay. If I run on tap land here, I'm gonna consider putting reservoir into play. Uh, Lotus Field is not the lane we want. Um, hmm. We could wish Brawl, but I just feel like Brawl's gonna die. Instead, I'm gonna play this out, and then next turn I can wish into Reservoir. So I wanted to keep the Balaged because if I drew an untapped land there, I could wish Reservoir, next turn Balaged wish. And just like gain, start gaining some of that life. Yeah, and I got punished for playing the, out the bail again. All right. Block here, take two. Draw. This just gets a cycle land. I could get another stage, I suppose, but I think the cycle land is just like better. And I'm not going to cycle now because it opens me up to, well, I guess if I hit a land, I could play the land and then next turn play have another field. I don't know. 
I'm gonna do it. Cycle untap field draw. Okay, so now we get back wish. Good deal. Right, so right now on our next turn we'll have wish into reservoir. It's not enough to go get Ugin or Pier. And if they want to pump the uh, knight, let them. Like, if they want to spend their entire turn doing that, sure. Ooh. Go blank again. That's brutal. Okay. And uh, we just need to draw an action spell. These discard spells have been just, like, crippling this four of them now. Okay. Crashing in for four, we're gonna fall to twelve. Need to hit something good here. That buys us a little bit of time. Yep. Gifted Aetherborn. I'm just gonna see what we can hit. We've not really, like, I guess I discarded two digs, so that's not really fair. I was going to say, we haven't really seen any pours or digs this game, but I did see two. They were just uh, quickly were exiled. Right, so we're down to eight. We have two turns at this point. Still two turns. I think we have another cycle land. Two. Cycle. Hmm. All right, so our next draw has to be an action spell for in order for us to even consider doing anything. We're going to four here. Another go blank. Jeez. And we didn't hit the action spell anyway. All right. Uh, sometimes that happens. So can't be upset. Just got to moving it um i guess maybe i could have the planning instead do this let's try it on the play sure this seems reasonable it's worth noting uh, you can't use Grazer how you think that you can. Uh, you can't put the flip land in a playoff Grazer, so you need to lead on Balagad. Ah, oh, that's brutal. Ah, oh, that's actually really rough. We needed this Sylvan Scrying to go get Lotus. Okay, we do have Wish for Lotus, but we'd have to draw one of the four cycle lands. Yeah, we're just not going to do anything this game now. Uh, yep. Come on, Doc. Cycle. Just going to pass. No point in playing out the Grazer, especially when we know that our opponent has go blank. I'd rather have a card in hand to discard than, you know, a, a random blocker to save two damage. Okay. Draw. There's our triumph, so that means that we can have access to Lotus Field next turn. I think I'm just gonna pass. No need to cycle. Pass the turn. Here our opponent's attacking us for three again. We really don't want them to find that third land, and they did. That means that a go blank or a memorial side is coming. Wish. Lotus field. Okay. If their opponent has go blank, I'm definitely discarding the grazer. I'm not sure what the other uh, pick is. 
they can attack for four, we go to eleven. Okay, they chose to play Soar in this one. Oh, Goldborn. Uh, they found another Thought Seed. That's actually pretty brutal. I think they're likely going to take the Poor here, if I had to guess. They still have seven cards. Too. But if we draw a Thespian Stage, there's still some stuff that we can do. Um... Yeah, like if we drew stage off the top, we could copy Lotus, Hidden Strings, Cycle Vizier. Like, we have some theoretical choices. We went after Strings, which is interesting. Draw. So how much damage is this? Four. Each. This deals me three, right? Yeah, so that would be exactly lethal. All right, I think I'm going to start on cycling. Draw. So I'd be dead to... I'd be dead to, like, a fatal push on, Viz on a grazer. I think I'm going to cast this poor instead. We found the stage, but it doesn't do a whole lot. Hmm. I think we just lose this. That was not a very good poor. Okay. Have to hope our opponent doesn't have a removal spell in their seven cards or even realistically even if they don't have a removal spell a discard spell because that's also going to trip us up and that's lethal as long as our opponent sees it and they do okay so that's going to put us to two and two womp womp All right, round number five. So if I had to take a wild guess, we were probably playing the mirror. Our opponent is known for playing Storm Combo and Legacy. We're on the draw, and this hand is just... It's close, but unfortunately, I think it's a mulligan. And if we are playing the mirror, we're going to have uh, Wish into Alpine Moon as an option. Um, This seems fine. I think we have the bottom of Vizier. All right, let's see what happens. All right, so it's not the mirror. Maybe something like spirits. Uh, it's just a control deck, I think. We're all... So they missed their third land, which is pretty huge. We'll take our draw step here. I think we just want a strategic plan, looking for more mana, particularly Lotus. Ding! So if our opponent's just playing blue white control, this is definitely a matchup where we would want Wish and Niv Mizzet as an option. And in between rounds, I keep on asking myself, like... So one of the things about this list is, like, ideally... So like you could play approach approach is like a reasonable card but without brawl it's like kind of difficult to double approach in one turn but maybe that's just like the right thing to do anyway um but i still think like even if you want to swap aetherflux reservoir for approach niv seems like a really good inclusion and i began to think about other slots like uh ugin is another reasonable slot to maybe not play i'm just talking aloud here but these are options all right, I'm going to cycle Vizier here. Get the cycle out before they could possibly play something like Narset. Draw. Okay. Copy this. 
untap here. The reason I'm targeting the uh, the fiddle fip or however you say it is that I want to cipher onto the brawl. Okay. Wish. I will get wrecked by a second Azorius charm. I'm well aware. Um, but I don't know. I'm taking a risk. Taking a long time on this. So I'd actually like it if they countered the wish. Because th then I could resolve Peer. <laughs> uh, I would play the other wish in my hand, attack, untap my Lotus Fields, play Peer. Ding. Okay. Now we get to use the cipher. Cast this on Tapper Lands. Yes. Yes. Okay. And we don't have enough mana to play Ugin or anything like that. So instead, we're just going to draw half our deck. I hope that's okay with you. And then next turn, we'll be able to go off um, through pretty much whatever they could do here. And we're just going to move to clean up. Let's get rid of these green cards first. Green cards are just easy to discard. So many cards. And let's start targeting some of the lands, too. We don't need strategic planning, so let's get those out of here. Guess I can, yeah, there we go. I wanted to keep the extra brawl around just for sake of ease for winning. And look at this hand, stacked. Even if our opponent plays a Narset here, they're just done for. Okay, um, how do we want to do this? Okay. So much mana. Let's cycle. Let's get a little bit of additional information. Okay, so I think that we should try to cast the Granted here. And we can get something like Mystical Dispute. We could also just get the Reservoir and then make them try to counter um, the Reservoir. And then like we can bail get it back later. But I should probably see... How many Balagads we have left? So one, two, actually kind of tough to see. Uh, there's one up here. One, two, three. So we have one Balagad left. So we will have to cast the last Balagad recovery if this gets. And that's why I didn't want to go for the Mystical Line. All right, so now we have a path to winning this. Let's cast Dig. Right, so we know that there's one Balgad left. We just need to find it. Or Wish seems reasonable. Okay. Even if they have a dispute, I'm not like really worried about that. Let's dig again. I'm pretty sure there's still one in the deck. Maybe I missed one. I'll find out when I draw my entire deck and it's not in there. There it is. Okay. And in strings for roughly infinite mana. Tap on tap. And even we still have the cipher, uh, by the way. So let's not like think that I'm like getting close to low on mana. We still have the Brawl Cipher, which is crazy. Get back reservoir. Regrowth so broken. Boom! Take that blue white control. Alright, so we definitely want these disputes. 
I wonder if this is a matchup where I should just board in the Lotus Field. Because, like, Razor is really stinky. And this just increases our odds of drawing it. I don't mind that. Let's try this. Game number two. And this seems pretty reasonable to me. I think our opponent's taking a mulligan here. I'm not surprised that Fuzz is playing blue eye control. They play a lot of uh, Ant, Peer into the Abyss style decks in Legacy. Another trial, okay. Up. Okay, so the way that our hand is currently configured is that our opponent's going to be able to resolve a Narset if they have one on. Okay. Play another Ketria. So Jace is being activated here. We don't want to F6 because we don't want our opponent to think that they can just slam the Narset in without fear of dispute. But uh, they did it anyway, which is fine. Narset is admittedly very good against us. Dorb, okay. So Lotus Field was a good draw here. Um, part of me wonders if I'm supposed to get Age or do I get Blast Zone? And I think Blast Zone is actually more important for us right now. I'm going to get the zone. But that nurse set's going to be in play for a little bit. Like, I think I'm, like, turns away from answering. That. All right, so they have Absorbed Dovin's Veto. Lots of counter. Okay. And there's no point in me trying to cast Sylvan Scrying into their own As much as I would love a Thespian Sage, that's not what's important. Okay. That account here. The two. It's a reasonable draw. Probably going to activate the castle. We cannot cast Dig. We don't have enough cards. Ooh, they're going to cycle Shark. Yeah. It is a slightly faster clock. Now Jace will flip. And they're going to plus the Jace. They're not even going to bother casting out. I would love if they, like, for some reason tried to tap out. I guess not this turn, because even if they tapped out this turn, we disputed and activated Blast Zone. Uh, we couldn't win immediately after. Is this a castle? Or another shark? Another shark. Okay, so I can resolve a dig right now. I just don't know how we're going to beat their counter wall with what we've got. Lotus Field's decent. We didn't find a stage, which is actually unfortunate. Another dig. And we can discard the scrying, maybe. Or maybe the brawl. Yeah, it's probably the brawl. I think the scrying would actually eat a counter spell. So we're going to take 7 here, going to 10. I imagine that the uh, recover or the scrying is going to get countered here. Interesting. They're willing to let me have Thespian State. Okay. So on their end step, we will be blowing up Narsa, and then we're going to have to try to win through just a slew of counter magic. Right, so that's eight. So we're not dead. 
one has six cards. You know, two of them are just like hard counters. One of them I can't even interact with. I'm not sure how I feel about this. We're going to pop the Blast Zone to get rid of Narsa. Now we have to find some sort of way to win this. Let's start on Cycling Vizier. We also, like, for a third of the way through our deck, we never found a Hidden Strings. Yeah, I'm just going to concede this. We can't win. Is rough. I'm just gonna resubmit. I don't think I want to. We just need to draw better. That is not what I meant. Well, again, this is decent. Rid of the vizier. We'd like to see a tap land on turn one to make sure that this brawl resolves, but I'm still going to jam it regardless. There we go. Brawl. My aggro plan to threaten our set in play. Let's see if planning resolves. All right, I think they're going to counter this, and I'm okay with that. Like, I want them to think that they should, like, Dovin's Veto this. And then we can just play field. Trading with sensor, not as good. Okay, it was a sensor. Three mana? Okay. Not, um... Our set, which I appreciate. And I'm going to pretend that I have dispute here and just pass. If they also tap out or Narsa, I could dig looking for dispute as well instead of copying. Uh, They do have double veto mana, which makes me a little bit nervous. Did not need another Lotus Field. Um, yeah, let's do blue blue. Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. I meant to do land land, and I like was like, oh yeah, and then I'm going to cipher to Brawl, and I clicked on my own Brawl. Oh, that was rough. I'm a dummy. Ah, uh, what was I thinking? It wasn't. Okay. Get back the poor. And now I am opening myself up to mystical dispute where I wasn't before. So if they have, uh, like, Counterspell plus Dispute, Dispute matters when it shouldn't. All right, so I'm going to attempt to attack here. And this way I don't lose the Mystical Dispute. Okay. So, like, at least it was the... Hidden string cipher being disputed and not my dig through. That said, they now have a bunch of mana up and they could absorb my dig. Um, definitely messed up there. Opt. The cipher, I, I have to look this up if it deals damage. Don't know. And of course, Magic Online doesn't tell me. I guess it's free. Um, what do you spell cipher? 
deals damage. I think I read somewhere. Yeah, it deals damage. Okay. We can pay for dispute. Hidden Strings Wish. That's interesting. I think we might be able to play Ugin. Now we're. Uh, yeah, we could play Ugin. All right, so Ugin is our answer to Narset. <laughs> Unfortunately, Ugin is going to remove her own copy of Brawl as well. I guess maybe what I should do is just shoot the Narset instead. I think I like that. Instead of using the Minus. They opt. They use the minus on Jace, so we'll be able to hit Jace with our Ugin. Kill the Jace. No need to attack with Brawl into a uh, possible Shark Typhoon. Here it is. And then next turn, we can just kill the Shark with Ugin. Not a big deal. Oh no, they can tuck our Ugin. All right, so I want to draw an action spell here. Would have been a nice draw last turn. Thanks, deck. Ah. I should have played the Lotus Field. I was so frustrated, though. Display on my part. Yep. Yeah, so this Ugin isn't like a live draw anymore, unfortunately. Planning. Is Wishkin anything good? Sure. Hmm. I think we're supposed to take the Wish. That's the turn. The problem is our opponent likely has a bunch of counter spells by now. They're just sitting on a pile of Azorius charms. <laughs> yeah. Don't be it. Come on. Don't be that card. They're making me very nervous with how they're tapping her. That's what I was worried about. Ah. Ugin was so close to ultimating. And now um, my wish into peer line is shut down. I think the best thing we have is, I mean, I can wish into our, but I don't think that this is going to resolve. And then again, I didn't think that the peer would resolve. Uh, I'm just going to cycle this land. Oh, the nar. <sighs> Breathe, Bryant. You've misplayed a bunch this round. Uh, things are not looking good. I could have just waited and did that on their turn. That was rough. All right, I'm not going to win this one. I'm just going to pick this up. Uh, okay. So that ended up being a 2-3. Not the best. Admittedly, I feel like I messed up a bunch this uh, league. I'm not sure. So I do think that maybe we could go back to approach if we're worried about that uh, red enchantment. Admittedly, that's not a card I've seen a bunch previously, but it does stop Aetherflux Reservoir, which means that maybe Aetherflux isn't the right wing count anymore. Um, I still don't think I want Fry. Like... Maybe you could run Fry over the Abrades if people aren't running Damping Sphere. I need to do some research on that. And I'm definitely interested in trying to miss it. Uh, alternatively, you could run a Thought Distortion over one of the Mystical Disputes if you're really worried about Blue-White. But that's the first time I've faced Blue-White in a very long time. Like, dedicated control decks are not very popular in Popper. Or Popper. Pioneer, I'm sorry. Um, 
So like I'm not super worried about losing this last one, especially when I played as poorly as I did. But these are some options. If you have any thoughts on these options, let me know. I understand that 2-3 made this deck look worse than it actually is, but I didn't play very well this league. That's my own fault. Um, hopefully you found some enjoyment in this and maybe learned something. Take care, keep storming, have a great day. Hey, Brian Cook here. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe, but also follow the social media channels down below. If you want to support this content directly, I would recommend going to theepicstorm.com slash shop. And if you need a little bit of assistance with the Epic Storm to get to that next level, I would recommend going to theepicstorm.com slash tutoring. Don't worry, there's more great content coming right up.